How's it going everybody? Welcome, welcome to a drag tune video. This is your boy Mars. We are going to tune this X power car from MG. It's called the MG6. Um, really cool thing I did to it. I just I honestly just left the original engine. Fully built it, but I made it rear wheel drive. This car normally comes front wheel drive. Making it rear wheel drive actually moves really, really cool. Car wheelies and all this good stuff. So I'm going to show you guys a nice little video here of the full build and also the full tune. So like always, 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 everybody new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and uh, let's get right to it. Let's go over here to the upgrades and custom upgrades. Honestly, thought they were going to put some real nice bigger engines into it, but they didn't. They didn't go that route with it. They honestly, um, so I just decided on just going with the stock engine. It gives you 614 with a higher torque of 625, uh, 21. Weighs 2,600 pounds, and then I did go rear wheel drive with it, so moves really good rear wheel drive. Um, you got this engine swap there, and also the this one here as well. Uh, so no need for it. Honestly, just wanted to hear the original engine, and as you guys see, car originally comes front wheel drive, so I made it rear wheel drive, and it just moves way better. Car should have always been rear wheel drive, in my opinion. Uh, let's go right over here, and then uh, just uh, fully built it. Just slap on all the parts there that are race. Really nice and cool on here. So let's put uh, just all these good stuff on there. And uh, yeah, honestly, like the style of the car. Don't don't. I'm not really hating the style, especially how they have with the fenders there. The guy, I guess, like a little wider in the fenders, uh, which is pretty cool. And then you got the real big grill on the front of the car. Um, I left it with the red and the spoiler on there. So <laughs> initially, it's just nice. It's just a nice little car to have. If you guys uh, haven't been grinding to get it, uh, you can get it. Make sure you can you know, you could probably drift with it. Uh, you can leave it front wheel drive, race Hondas and stuff like that. Rally on the suspension, of course. Um, and besides that, the rest of the stuff, full weight reduction to get to 2,600 pounds. No roll cage. And uh, put all the rest of the parts there, race. So um, let's go over here. And uh, pretty much, as you guys see, got it on the six-speed transmission. Uh, you can also go stock. I uh, just went six speed there. Uh, let me see between those two. Just to not mess around, you could probably just leave it stock and then use the same gear ratios that I have. Will probably be a lot better. But you gain about four pounds there by going with a six speed transmission. Um, or you can go four speed transmission. Up to you guys to reduce a little bit of weight. Uh, but you can always still use the same gear ratio that I have. Um, so it'll work out no matter what. Make sure to put the drag tires, not semi-slicks. Those drag tires be the ones to grip. Nothing in the front. Full width in the rear at 265. So kind of small, but still grips really good. And uh, any wheels you guys like that are super light, I think I put these new wheels that were added into the game. Um, what are they? I forgot. Uh, let's see. Did I even put any wheels on this thing? No, they didn't put no wheels. <laughs> Let me put some wheels on it. So we do some weight on here. Are they? Yeah. So there we go. It's 12 pounds lighter. So yeah, just make sure to put some real lightweight wheels on it. And um, I left it there alone on the front and also rear. So it has 18s in the front and rear. And if you guys want to go with some spacers to make it look a little aggressive, you guys can put some spacers on there. Just make it kind of look cool. Um, but you don't you don't have to go with the spacers. And then also, strongly recommend to take off the spoiler like that. It'll grip better. Um, I honestly just like the way it looks with the spoiler on there. So I left it with the spoiler. But yeah, strongly, strongly, strongly recommend taking out the spoiler. You'll get a lot better in the trap speed there. Um, and that is it. That is it. Let's go. Now let me save this. We're now with a little bit lighter in the tires. So remember, you got the transmission. Um, you can use four speed to go lighter or the stock speed. Make sure to go full weight reduction. Um, make sure to put really, really lightweight tires and take off the spoiler there so you can go a lot quicker. 55 in the front, 15 in the rear. Then we got 1.9, 4.4, traps around 215. Here goes the final drive is 320. First gear is 440. Second gear is 245. And then 170, 120, 90, 0.80. Zero everything out in 7. 65, 65. Then we got soft on the front, stiff in the rear at 340. Doesn't have to be exactly the right number, the correct uh, 640.6 or whatever. Uh, and then raise all the way up. And then we got 1991. 
nothing with this or this and a hundred and a hundred so let's uh bring it out with a little spin now with uh it being rear wheel drive instead of it front wheel drive and uh let's see what it does here we're outside weather's looking pretty good you can get it through a nice little wheelie Kind of sound like a little flick, a little Ford Fiesta, kind of, I don't know, it has its own little note to it. A little Ford Focus, kind of sounds like a rallier car. All the way around though, pretty cool man, I'm not going to lie, I've never seen this car. And look at the brake lights, it has an X on the brake lights. See how the brake lights light up with an X on it, pretty cool. Let's see. Look at that. 600 horsepower. Imagine it if you were able to put a slap 1,000 horsepower on this thing. This thing will move so good. And it's already, it does its own little, you know, it's just it's crazy. Sometimes some of these cars just move way better than others. Yeah. Oh, super lag. Let's take a look at the inside real quick. Let's see. Alrighty, so the inside is super modern. Got a huge dash there in the middle. Uh, got the circular vents there, kind of what the uh, Audi, Audi and Mercedes have the circular vents. Um, the dash there, nice huge tablet there. Digital display there in the middle. Really, really good. Can't complain with that. So let's do this. Let's fast travel real quick to the quarter mile, show you guys how to launch it and all that good stuff. That'll wrap everything up, so let's do that. Alrighty, here we go, here we go, here we go. Let me change the view. Let's go to the quarter mile. Quarter mile is right over here. This pole over here is that quarter mile. Make sure to get the tires hot. Every time you bring out a brand new car out to the uh, to the drag strip, always get them hot. Even if you go out and drag race anywhere. Do the reverse forward burnout or stand still reverse burnout. And uh, to launch a car is going to be e brake, gas, and clutch. So when you do the e brake and gas, your needle is going to shoot up really quickly. And when it shoots up really quickly, you press down on the clutch. So, see? As soon as I saw it shoot up, I press down on the clutch and then hold that, that number right there. Now, if I tap on the clutch a little bit more and I hold it again, I can sometimes get a little bit higher. Uh, but we're at 3,600 RPMs. Boost is 36 pounds, really nice. Torque is 316. You let go of the other two, and there you go, boys. Car launches like so. Wheelies in the front end, and uh, just grips really, really nice. Since I went lighter on the tires, um, I could probably go a little bit longer on that first gear, so I can have it grip even more. Um, but that's why I have it all opened up there, so you guys can tune, do whatever you guys want, make it quicker, all that good stuff. But Really nice car, I man. Kind of competes with like uh, I think what traps what traps around this number. Oh, there you go. Even better, nicer wheelie there. I think it's the uh, Evo. I think the Evo is what traps around this number. If I'm not mistaken. Um, 145. I think like Subarus and Evos, depending if they're like 600 horsepower. Pretty good. Pretty good to uh, race other cars that are pretty much trap around the same. E-brake, gas, and clutch get that e-brake and gas to go up like that um, you hold down on the clutch and that's the thing that uh, holds it at a higher rpm but as you can see it is moving 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 pretty nice and smoothly but yeah you can always make that first gear a little longer by going towards speed on that first gear really 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 cool but yeah, that sums up the video, man. Hope you guys like it. Hope you guys like the car. Enjoy, subscribe, and I'll see all you guys around with another Dragton video. Peace out, everybody. Bye-bye now.